ahead and get started. We ready? Yes. All right. Happy Wednesday, Bonnie. Good to see you joining us today. Um, let's come on up to Stan to start. If you're not already up, get those you get those cycles going. And it's shorts weather here. It's getting toasty in LA. I was talking about it tomorrow. And I'm not going to stop talking about it because we freak out here when it gets hot. So that's just what we do. All right. Give me some shoulder shrugs. Open those guys up. So the upper body today, we have some interesting work that we're going to do for our shoulders and our back muscles. Um, but not shoulders like you typically think of shoulders a little bit different. So I'm excited to explore that. Um, and other than that, it's a pretty standard workout for us. We have four installments of our heart rate boost, one for the upper body and three for the lower body. We're also going to work on standing balance and core. So we're going to do some hard work per usual. Um, and then tomorrow we'll jump more into a strength-based training day, but today is a mix of strength, cardio, mobility, the works. So let's do it. Um, let's start to bring your arms out to the side. Take your palms facing up. And give me some shoulder shrugs in this plane of motion. Good. Now, a couple times, start to draw the elbows behind your back. Squeeze your shoulder blades. And extend the arms out to the side. Good. Give me two more of those. Bring them back. Squeeze the shoulder blades, bringing some awareness to the back of the body. And take them out. And last one, pull them in and squeeze. All right. Go ahead and release the arms. We are going to start with forearms today, as we typically tend to do. But I've been noticing in a lot of people that I know personally and people that I work with that I'm seeing some hunching. Like we've been at home a lot. We're starting to round out. We're slouching, right? Whether it's from phone usage or driving or whatever it is. And today, part of the work I want to do is exploring the muscles of our shoulders, the back, to help open up so we can get a nice, strong posture. So with that being said, we're gonna start with forearms though. So draw the elbows in. We're doing two 45 second sets of wrist curls. First one's just going up and down. Time is going up and down. Good. So for this set, I want us to go nice and slow. And imagine you're using heavy weight. Mm -hmm. So what would this look like if you were holding two 20 pound weights, that's a lot of weight. We're moving slow and we're making sure to keep the elbows in so we don't wanna splay out and tweak the wrist. Really working into the form, up and down. I like it. Good. Last 10. Nice and slow, waking everything up. And we have five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, nice. Give the forearms a stretch, extend the right arm forward, take the left fingertips, gently push them down and in. Switch sides. And let's work into our second set. Elbows in. This time we're going a little bit faster. Three, two, one. Here we go, wrist curls. Imagine you're holding a lighter set of weights, so I wanna see speed. If you wanna fly through these, by all means, fly through these, but I wanna see you keep moving up and up. Yes. That's it. Good. Lift and lift. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right. Good. We're half done. Keep up that pace. Woo. I'm starting to feel it. The forms are awake. Yes. There we go. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, squeezing 6. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Next up on our agenda, we're coming down to the mat for the tricep dips. We've got some fun upper body work today. I really like tricep dips. I've got a new timer going. I'm very excited about it. Good. So we're going to come down onto the floor, rooting my hands into the mat, the floor behind me. I lift up, level one. These are bent, down and up. My butt does not touch the floor. Level two, I have straight legs, down and up, okay? If this is just too much on your wrist, you can always come up for tricep extension, okay? 
So there's always a modification if we need it. Otherwise, go ahead and make your way down onto your butt, root the hands into the floor, kick your butt up. First set, let's go. Down and up. And this might be a baby movement for you if you're gaining strength in your triceps, that's fine. Just try and keep your butt off the floor and you can make it even harder by lifting your butt higher, down and up. Mm -hmm. I like it. Good. Yes. Good. 10 more seconds. Mm -hmm. Butts up. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Tricep stretch. Take the right hand across to the other shoulder. Gently guide it back and down. Switch sides. Left hand between the shoulder blades. Bring it back. And let's set ourselves up for our next set. Go ahead and come up either tricep extensions or we have our tricep dip. If you want more of a challenge this time, you can lift one foot off the floor. Time is going down and up. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, when we're halfway done, you can switch the leg if you're choosing this option. And it's hard. It's a lot of weight on your triceps, small muscles. Woo! Good. If you have a leg up, we're going to switch in six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch legs. Half done. Nice. Good. Last 15. Keep working through it. Go for that burn. I want to see them shaking. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Shake it out. Next up, I'm coming onto my knees. If you want to stand, you can. We have bicep curls. So drawing the elbows again, just like we did with our wrist curls at this time, working the biceps. Now, my cycle just stopped. Notice if yours did do, maybe restart it. Or if you're feeling strong here, maybe up your level a little bit. See how you're feeling today. So starting with heavy weights. Imagine you're picking up big old heavy weights. 45 seconds. Here we go. We're going in and down. In and down. And I want us to keep that range of motion short. So I'm taking my arms only slightly past 90 degrees and then pulling them in. So we don't need to fully straighten and down. Now imagine that I doubled your weight. What would that look like if you were lifting them? And if you were holding really big heavy weight here too, you'd want to be mindful not to splay out the back. Maybe grow a little bit taller, squeeze your hips or glutes. That's it. Good. Up and down. We have 15 more seconds. Mm -hmm. Good. Last 10. We're going to pulse it in four, three, two, and one. Pulse it up, up. Squeeze those bands. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Woo, bicep stretch. Clasp the hands, lengthen them out. Second set, we're imagining holding, you know it's coming, light weights. So bands are pumping, arms are pumping. Imagine you're holding really light weights or maybe no weight. 45 seconds, ready, set, go. I go up, down, up, down. Keep it fast, but keep the rest of the body completely still and stable. Up, lift, and lift. Good. If you want to go faster, by all means, do it. Lift. Lift. Yes. Here we go. Preparing some of us to lie down, some of us to go to the pool tomorrow, feeling strong wherever we're at. Yeah. Up. Up. That's it. Mm -hmm. Good. We have 10, 9, faster, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, and one. Goodness, my biceps feel that. I am tired. I went up a level on my cycle, and I'm feeling it. I'm definitely feeling it. Next up, so we have those kind of that bicep contraction. We're going to take this movement and work into it. So in terms of the shoulders, I want to briefly mention two types of shoulder movement. 
So there's one called protraction. For example, I'm in plank thinking, think like a push. I'm pushing my shoulder blades away from each other. That's protraction. Retraction of the shoulder blades is when I'm drawing them back in together. So imagine squeezing a grape between your shoulder blades. Today we're gonna to work on retraction, bringing the shoulder blades back in together. So we have two exercises. So bring your arms down like so. And you can imagine you're holding weight here. What I want us to do is bring our arms, I'll just show forward, going squeeze in, squeeze, and center. So really drawing the shoulder blades together. Imagine you have a grape, a tomato, whatever you want to pop between your shoulder blades, and you're bursting it each time you pull back. So we have our two sets. First one, ready, set, go. Squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. And start slow. And you may have heard me refer to these muscles before as our posture muscles. And that's because oftentimes I see that people have weaker muscles in their back. And so they're not really supported. So no wonder we're kind of slouchy. We just don't have that strength. We're also getting a nice stretch across the chest. Half done. Good. Squeeze. In. Retract. Normal. Retract. Normal. Shoulders should be starting to get tired. Good, and you can make fists, squeeze your hands too to get everything working. The biceps are contracted as well. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, shake it out. So the whole time we're doing this, our biceps are also working. So it's kind of a two for one. All right, second set. This time we're gonna go fast. Ready, set, go. In, in, squeeze. Squeeze, it gets really tiring really quickly. But this is our first of two exercises with shoulder retraction. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Yes, squeeze those biceps so much that you are bursting the bands off your arms. Get those shoulder blades back. If I were to put my finger between my bl your blades, I'd want you to pinch it. Yes. 18 more seconds, squeeze it. Really get into it, I love it. I see Bonnie, she's going. We have 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. All right. So we've started to wake up the shoulders. Let's continue to work into it. We've done this exercise one time before. Shoulder retraction push-ups. So I come down into my floor space in a plank as if I was going to do push-ups, but I want to keep my arms straight the entire time. So I drop my chest down, retract my shoulder blades, Push the floor away, protract, retract, protract, retract, protract. And my hips stay up the whole time. So it's a little micro shoulder push up, working the muscles in the back as well. Let's try it out. First set, on your mark, get set, let's go. Retract, pull the shoulders together, protract, push the floor away, pull them in, push them out. That's it. Let's see how we're doing. Let me check. And the whole time you're doing this, we want to keep the glutes and the core strong, as we always do, so that the hips stay lifted and we're not sagging our hips instead of working our shoulders. And because this is the second exercise we've done of this, those muscles are going to be getting really tired. And that's what we want. Last 15 seconds. Perfect. Good. Nice, Justin. Good. We have eight, seven. Kayleen, good to see you. Five, four, three. Two and one. Nice. Come on up onto your knees. Clasp your hands. Push the base of the palms away from you, getting a stretch across the back of the shoulders. And if there's like one or two exercises I recommend doing to help with better posture, that push up is a really good one. Because we spend a lot of time in plank, protracting, pushing the floor away but not enough time retracting and strengthening with those muscles. So just food for thought, if you wanna do like 30 seconds of those per day, definitely can't hurt. All right, second set, make your way back into plank. Ready, set, let's go. Retract, protract, retract, protract. If you wanna go fast, by all means, go fast, but your hips better stay stable, keep them up. Nice, wonderful. Cool. Nice, George. 
I see people getting a little tired. We're pushing back into downward facing dog. Looks good. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Last 10. Mm -hmm. We have eight, seven, three more, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Clasp the hands, press the base of the palms away from you. Take that stretch. Awesome. Last exercise for our upper body, and then we'll take it down. Forearm plank walk. I come down into my forearm plank. I walk it up high as I can. I walk back down. I walk up, and I walk back down. And if you're feeling super wild, you can walk up and just pop up into a handstand and walk back down if you feel so inclined. <laughs> All right. Have to play sometimes. All right. First set. Come into forearm plank. Let's do it. Walk it up. Walk it back. So we're really working the muscles of the shoulders here. We're also getting tricep chest involved as well. And if that walk is a little bit too much on your shoulders, you can always hold in a forearm plank. And you can always just take time in forearm plank, tapping your knees down as well if you need a break. Try and get your toes as far up towards your shoulders as you can. So use those muscles, build strength to support your whole body. Mm-hmm. Awesome. <laughs> nice, Quentin. I didn't really mean it about that headstand. Maybe you guys want to try it. I love it. It's always fun to play. Good, last 10. Keep walking, keep walking. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the knees. Take a quick rest. Cool. Give the shoulders a shrug and roll. And let's make our way down for our second set. Come on down into forearm plank. If you want to add speed here, it's a great time to do it. Ready, set, go. Walk it up. Walk back down. Walk it up. Walk back down. It's hard to do this and talk at the same time. <laughs> Keep breathing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And as you're doing this, think about looking back between your legs. So you don't want to crunch your neck by looking down or looking forward. You want to look through the legs, keeping the back of the neck long. Yes. Good. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 2 more, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Awesome job. Everyone come on up to stand. First heart rate boost of the day. We have our three moves, 30 seconds each. First one is skater jacks. I come into like a little baby lunge position. And I go like so. Okay, that's the skater jack. I don't think we've actually done those before. Second one, lateral hops. I'm going side, 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 side. You got the idea. And last one, we're just running in place. We're going crazy. We're getting the heart rate up. I want to see you run as fast as you possibly can. So first up, we have 30 seconds, skater jack. Let's do it. Yeah. And if the jumping gets to be too much, step, step. That's a step, but keep your arms going. Half done. Good, last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Lateral hop, side, 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 side. If you want more of a challenge, keep your arms up the whole time. If you want more of a challenge, both legs. I'm doing one. <laughs> That's it. Good. Maybe pick it up a little bit faster. Last 10. Then we're running it out in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and run. Woo! Run it out. Run it out. I don't care what your run looks like. As long as your arms are working, your legs are working, and you're breathing. All right, half done. We're going to sprint. Five, four, three, two. Last ten. Nine, eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, let's swap out the bands. Nice work, everyone. Shoulder protraction and retraction is the big lesson of the day. All right. So as we swap out our bands, we have two things we must do here as well as swapping out our bands. First thing, big sip of water, especially if you're in a toasty climate. Go ahead and do that. Second thing, question of the day. All right, let me think. Sometimes I have one prepared, today I don't have one prepared. Question of the day. Ooh, okay. Uh, one of your fondest childhood memories. What have we got? What's something that you really love to do as a child? Feel free to toss it in the chat or unmute. I'm sure Steve loves to like float around on coconuts or something. <laughs> Dunking off my daddy's uh, boat. It was just a little skid, but I was three. <laughs> Oh, jumping off the boat, your dad's boat. That's amazing. I love that. Where was that? Northern Ontario, Canada. Oh, beautiful. That's lucky. It's a wonderful place to jump off a boat. I see something in the chat. What have we got? First grade nun who installed fear in us. See, this is not, this is not a positive memory. <laughs> All right, we'll take it. It's a memory instilled fear. Eric says, just playing with my childhood dog. I love that. What kind of dog, Eric? Justin says, going to the UP in Michigan for the 4th of July. I was actually there for the 4th of July last year. And it was my first time and it was stunning. I love it. Eric's dog was a must you rescue mutt. George says, digging my own swimming hole in the backyard. Not surprising. The same group, last week we talked about things that we liked doing on our weekends, and we like doing a lot of outdoor stuff. And it seems like there's a lot of outdoor stuff here that we remember fondly as children. Kayleen says, swimming and surfing with my family. See, we're just a bunch of outdoorsy people. Except Steve just said, None. <laughs> I think she's outdoorsy too. Just has a slightly different childhood memory. Awesome. These are great. A lot of these involve water too. I like it. All right. Let's go ahead and hop on up to stand. Bands are on. Cycles are going. So let's start with some work for the heel. Not for the heel. For the calves with the heel. So before we get going, let me just see some circles of the legs, starting to work into the balance, opening up the hips. Cool. All right. And to start to work into our calves today, we're gonna do just a good old fashioned heel raise to start. Um, but you can do the heel raise, or if you're needing a little bit more here, you can challenge yourself by lifting the heels up, lifting one leg, set it down, drop the heels. Lift up, other leg, set it down, drop the heels, and it's hard. You're gonna wanna fall. That's where the balance comes in. So we're gonna do 45 seconds. Um, we'll start in four, three, two, and one, go ahead and lift those heels. You can either just go up and down, or you can play with lifting a leg, drop down, up, lift a leg, drop down. Nice. Good, keep going. Half done. And when I do my leg lifts, I try and focus on a point on the floor of the wall, which really helps with balance. Last 10. We have six, five, four, three, 
two, and one. Shake it out. Next set, on your marks, get set. Here we go. We go up, optional lift, and down. Up, and down. And after we do these, we're gonna take a quick calf stretch, because we haven't stretched our calves in a minute, and it's important. Our calves are really low on the body, so they're kind of part of our foundation when you think about working from the bottom up. So if we can release tension in our calves, hopefully that works its way up the body. When our hamstrings feel better, our backs feel better, our brains feel better. Good. Woo, there we go, last 10. Good. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, take it out. To take the calf stretch, you can either grab a wall, a chair, or something, or not. We're gonna step the right foot back and bend into the left knee. And if you have a wall or something, you can press against it to help get the hips back even more. But if you don't, just keep bending into that front knee, keeping the right heel glued down to the floor the whole time, and you should feel that stretch. Now, everyone starts to lift up like this. Don't do it, that defeats the purpose. Maybe even see if you can lift the toes of your right foot off the floor. You've got a wall, you can press against it. Good. And let's put sides. Step the left foot back, drop the heel down, bend into the right knee. My heel's trying really hard to sink off the floor on this side. You can use the wall. See if you can get the toes of the left foot off the floor. Kind of forcing your heel down even more and getting into that stretch. Cool. All right, first exercise is our cardio boost for this first round. And then we have four exercises and three rounds of cardio boost. I do not expect you to remember this, that's why I'm here. Touch down, squat, jack. I go out, up, out, up. You got it. Don't feel like jumping today, step it. Okay, first set, 45 seconds on your mark. Get set, let's go. Speed is up to you. Posture is not. I want a nice straight spine, pressing your hips back, none of this. Retract those shoulders. Good. Awesome. Go Chris, go. Yes. Nice. Good, Kayleen, nice, George, amazing. We've got it. Last 10. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Kick it out. Quick hamstring release, hands across the shoulders, hinge forward, flat back. Come back up, two more, hinge forward, and rise. Last one, hinge, and up, second set, here we go. Get those butt hips down, yeah, even lower, woo! You wanna go fast? Go fast. I like it, All right, awesome. Good, Justin. I don't think Sophia and Cindy today. Hmm. Eric and Lisa, I can't see you, but keep doing what you're doing. Last 10 seconds, keep going, keep going, gang, we've got it. After this, we're gonna take a quick sip of water and then get into our cardio boost. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Grab some water. All right. Eric says, I'm shy. Eric, being shy is totally fine. The video is optional. <laughs> I'm still gonna yell at you, I just can't see you when I yell at you. It doesn't matter if you have it on or not. All right, let's get our heart rate up. Gator Jack, ready, set, let's go. 
I'm losing myself. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> nice. Half done. Maybe pick up the pace if you're feeling good. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lateral hop, side to side. Hop, 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 hop. If you can go faster, go faster. If you want to extend the arms, do it. Hop, 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 hop. Yes. Good. And this part of our heart rate boost is actually preparing us for another move that we're gonna do later in our practice. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Run it out. Yeah, get those legs going. Get those arms going. Give me a sprint. It's only when I run in place that I see how ridiculous I look when I run. And that's okay, good. Give me all you got, last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Next exercise, we're coming back down to the floor for what's called a sit through. So, I come down into bear position. I kick my legs through and come back. I kick through and come back. Try and keep your legs off the floor the whole time. Kick through, kick through. That's the move. If this is just not working, you can always tap, tap. Otherwise, all the way up, down. As you come down, keep those knees hovered. I don't want to see this. Keep the back flat, keep the move low. All right? First set, 45 seconds. Ready, set, go. Good. And as you kick through, see if you can keep that leg hovered off the floor the whole time, using your core to stabilize. Nice. Perfect. And remember, if you can, let me see the alternating hand lift up, through, kick, down. So adding that element of balance here as well. Mm-hmm. All right. Good. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Good. You gotta do it again. Those look really great. I saw, I know people are like, no! <laughs> I saw a little bit of wobbling. That's perfect. We tried it. We did it. We did it for the most part. We did our version of it. That's all that matters. Second set. On your mark. Get set. Here we go. Kick. Kick. Keep those hips low. Kick. Kick. Mm -hmm. Working the quads, working the hamstrings because our knees are bent. Working everything. <laughs> I like it. Woo! That's it. Nice money. Go quick and go. I love it. Justin, amazing. Kayleen's got it. We have 12. Awesome, George. Go, Dan, for 10. Last six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody hop up. Heart rate boost. 30 seconds. Skater Jacks. Here we go. Let me adjust this so you can see. Keep, keep jumping, keep jumping. All right. Have done. Good. Last 10. Then we're coming into our lateral hop in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hop it side to side. Go. Good, you can extend the arms. You can even reach them up. That's it. Give me some speed. There we go, half done. 
even faster. Good. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Run it out. Knees up. All right. Getting that heart rate up. Then we're going to grab a sip of water. Give me sprint. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Water for everybody. I need a better band. My device is falling off. Too much excitement. <laughs> All right, while you take a sip of water, next up, we have skater pulse. So we've been doing these lateral jumps and practicing keeping our foot off the floor. Now we're gonna skate and hover. So I skate side, switch, side, switch. You've got the idea. If you want an extra challenge, take your hands behind your head. Jump as far over as you can, pause, okay? Side to side, come on up to stand. All right, first 45 seconds. On your mark, get set, let's go. And I challenge you to get super low when you do these. Maybe all the way down. Woo! Requires a little extra balance, but we're also building more strength. That's it. Yes, if you wanna take your hands behind your head, go for it. But I'd recommend keeping your hands together and finding a more balanced position and seeing if you can sink the hips down a little bit lower instead. So we're building that strength in the legs. Nice. Let me see if we can do five more. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Cool. Kick the legs out. All right. Second set, get low to start. Ready, set, go. Stay low, side, side, side. Woo, get even lower. That's it. I don't know what the heck I'm doing with my hands, but it feels right, and that's all that matters. Good, finding that balance at each point. Awesome. Good. See if you can get that elevated foot up even higher. We are half done. Hi. Good. Mm -hmm. Get that other foot up. 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 Last 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Take it out. We're coming right into our skater jacks. On your mark, get set, here we go. Nice. Half done. Good. Last six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Lateral hop. We're familiar with this movement now. Get those knees up. All right. Woo. Half done. Let me see you move fast. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one, run it out. Knees up, arms up. We're not jogging, we're running. Ooh, breathing hard. Half done. In five, I wanna see all out sprint. Three, two, one, last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, sip of water. 
Next exercise, we have single leg Romanian deadlifts. So we've practiced balancing on one leg for a number of our exercises, right? So our sit-throughs, we were on one leg. For our skater pulse, we're on one leg. For our lateral hops, we're on one leg. Now, this is one of the ultimate one-legged exercises. We've done it before. I take a big old generous bend into my left knee. I step my right foot back. Now, what I see a lot of times is that there's a lot of commitment to trying to get your hand down to the floor. I don't care about that. You know, don't think about getting the hands to the floor. What I want you to think about instead is keeping one long line between your head and your back heel. So I'm hinging down and back up. And what happens when we try and touch our hands to the floor is we do this. Now, that's not a straight line, that's a curve. So I want you to keep that line straight instead of worrying about this, okay? So we're doing four sets of these, you know, two per side. Um, and take them really slow, and you can challenge yourself more by doing a number of things. Deepening the bend in the front knee. You can take your hands to your shoulders. You can take your hands behind your head. So you're really working into the legs, the balance, strengthening the legs without kind of using the arms of the crutch. So right like that, first set. Four, three, two, let's go. Hinge into it. Come back up. Now, maybe you don't even let that right foot touch the floor. And try and keep that left leg stable. Don't let it move the whole time. So keeping the bend in that leg. Nice. Good. Now, if you're trying to touch the floor, take that agenda, toss out the window, because that's not the move. We're strengthening the left leg. We're strengthening the back of the right leg. We're strengthening our core and we're not slouching our shoulders. Good. Mm -hmm. I love it. Last 10 seconds. It doesn't matter how many more you do because the goal is to move slow and get low, not to go for speed here. Good, last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, let's switch right into the other leg. Stepping the left leg back, bend into the right knee. If you want to try a variation, you can. On your mark, get set, here we go. Bend into it, and I rise. Maybe I don't let my left foot touch the floor. Bend into it, and rise. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of times in our practice when I'll tell you that it's okay to hold on to something. For this one, do your best not to hold on to something. Awesome, Diane. Cool, these look so good. Last 10. Nice, Kayleen, yeah, girl. Good, Lily, we have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, everyone. Quick hamstring release, hands to the shoulders. We're gonna take three good mornings, three. Rise up, keeping the spine straight, two. And up, last one. Let's move into our next, next step. So go ahead and step left foot forward, right foot back, bend to that knee. And in an ideal world, we keep this bend the whole time. So I'm not actually ever straightening. Whoop, I'm watching the screen as I'm doing this, my left leg. So I'm keeping it bent. All right, ready, set, go. And after this, we have one more lower body exercise. Quentin, get that leg straight. What is happening there? <laughs> you beat me in rock, paper, scissors, but I gotta pick on you now. Better, good, nice, Chris. Mm -hmm. I like it. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides, right foot forward, left foot back. Last set, hinge into it, and rise. And I'm starting to notice that the back legs are starting to get kind of floppy. 
keep them straight so that we're working the muscles of the back of the left leg. Because if we're gonna do it, we might as well do it right and get stronger. And these are so frustrating. They can be really hard. It's like, why the heck can't I do this movement? That's why we're doing them. Working on balance, going stronger together. Nice, George. All right. Eric and Lisa, keep going. In those last 10 seconds. Maybe do one more, maybe do two more. Take it slow. Best variation that you've done today, the single leg Romanian deadlift for five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up. Last thing of the day with our leg bands for strength is we're doing the 30, 20, 10 of mountain climbers. So we're gonna do 30 seconds of mountain climbers. We're gonna hop on our chat, report our number. We're gonna do 20 seconds of mountain climbers. We're gonna hop on the chat and report our number and see if we can get close to the same number of mountain climbers. Does that mean go slower on the first set so that you can match on the second? No, that means give it all you've got every time we were going full burnout here. All right, drop down into plank. 30 seconds mountain climbers. On your mark, get set, go. Count them, one, two, three, four, that's it. Oh my goodness, legs are flying. Have them. Nice dance. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your knees. What do we got? How many? Last time we were like in the 70s or something crazy. Quentin, 82? 71? 57. That's crazy. That's amazing. 77, 70, 71, 82, 65. Does everyone see what's happening here? We're all increasing our numbers. We first started doing these, we were in the 60s. Chris, a lot. Bonnie, 52, yes, all right. 20 seconds, back into plank. Amazing work, guys. On your mark, get set, go. Chris, a lot. <laughs> nice. Last 10 seconds. We have five, four, three, two. Drop your knees. Where are we at? 48. Woo! Oh, 73, 58, 48, 40, 60, 70. Wow, okay. 48, Bonnie, that's amazing, given that that was relative from 30 seconds to 20 seconds. It's really good, gang. 75. Yes! All right, 10 seconds. What I want you to take, what I want you to do is take the number of mountain climbers that you just did and try and do more than half of that number because we're doing half the time. So if you can get more than half the number after already doing two hard sets, Fire. All right, 10 seconds. On your mark, get set, go. Good. We have five, four, three, two, drop your knees. What do we got? Chris, I like your metrics a lot more. 30. 30. Yes. 37, 33. 45, 42, 42, 31. We're going to go into orbit at this rate. You guys are just going to fly. Everybody up. Grab water. That is so impressive. That's so hard to sustain for that long and do that many. I hope we're tired. We're not tired now. I don't know what else to tell you. We have a strength day coming up tomorrow. So if you're not tired today, it's coming your way tomorrow regardless. All right, up to stand. So we did our single leg Romanian deadlifts, right? Let's practice more balance in that plane of motion. So back behind it. So I'm coming onto my right big toes. I'm taking my hands to my hips. Now, 
I noticed this, and this does not mean it's bad, it's just something we can uh, afford to improve upon, is as you're doing this, I'm seeing some of this. So I want you to focus on keeping your back leg straight and using your glutes to lift and lower. Little pulses. Good. Your glutes should be firing like heck. These are a very big muscle and they directly support our back. So if we have strong butts, that's a good sign. Good, last 10, nine, eight, keep your legs straight, six, five, four, strong core, three, two, and one, switch sides. Come on to the big toe of the left foot, we're going. Now, we don't wanna compromise our spine here, so keep drawing your core in. See if you can grow a little bit taller from the top of your head. And I always have my hand in my belly, just to remind me so I'm not kind of slouching or arching. Yes, last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, squeeze it, four, three, two, and one. Last one. Right leg out to the right, come onto your big toe. Keeping the left side of the body straight, same thing, just out to the side. Pulse it. Good, if you can go higher, by all means go higher. My hips are tired, that's what I got. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides, other leg, get it up. Whoop, there we go. Yes, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, nice and tall, two, one, and release. For our core, we are doing 30 seconds of leg circles one direction, 30 seconds of leg circles the other direction, and a V up. So my leg circles, I'm coming down to sit. My legs are up. I'm going 30 seconds one way, 30 seconds the other way, and then I come down and do my V up, okay? So no rounding out of the spine, keep your chest up, get your legs off the floor, 30 seconds, here we go. Woo, get those legs up as high as you can. Use the muscles of your core and you have your hands rooted into the floor, so use them to your advantage to lift the chest, the spine up. Hi, nice. it's hard. <laughs> Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Other way, right into it. Your quads are gonna be burning. Think about using your core as much as you can to help you out here. Control. That's it. Good, last 10. Then we're gonna come right into the up, chest up in six, five, four, three, two, and one. So everything comes down, everything comes up. We go down, we roll up. Time to roll and keep going. Last move of the day, and then we're gonna roll over onto our left side and take a stretch. In a sing song voice. Nice, everyone's getting up off their upper back. I like it. Coming all the way up the spine, we have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Roll over onto your left side. Find your right ankle, grab it, pull your heel in towards your butt for a quad stretch. As you do this, Press your hips forward. Hips forward, knee back. Keep pulling your heel in towards your butt. And release it. Make your way over onto your right side. Do the other leg. Find your left ankle, grab it. Hips forward, knee back. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze it even more. And release it. Make your way up to sit and then hop on up to stand. Step the legs wide. Reach both arms up. 
Take them over to the right leg. Let your forehead fall down towards the right. Two big breaths. Each exhale pulls you a little bit deeper. And then start to roll on up. Reach your arms up. Over to the left leg. Fold into it. Let your breath pull you even deeper still. Two more big ones. And roll on up, arms up, hands together. Woo, good job. Nice work, everyone. Tomorrow we're doing strength. Bring your A game. <laughs> good job. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Thank you. Go Gators. Goodbye. Peace. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Go Gators.